Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. The New York Jets once again uh, in the NFL news late on this Monday afternoon before free agency. Uh, they sign quarterback David Garrard to a one-year contract. David Garrard was injured last season. Uh, he was for a period of time in the Dolphins training camp, was their number one quarterback for a period of time uh, before he got hurt and missed the whole season uh, due to an injury. He comes, he has a workout with the Jets February 28th, uh, looks impressive. The Jets let everyone know he looked impressive. Uh, some time elapses here, uh, but they eventually get a deal done with Garrard uh, to bring him into the fold here to compete, compete at the quarterback position with, of course, Mark Sanchez and Greg McElroy. Remember, Tim Tebow's still on the roster, but it's thought that you know Tebow's either going to get released or... Uh, probably released because I don't think at this point anyone's going to trade for a guy like Tebow. So uh, they'll release Tebow here in the next couple months, if not weeks. Uh, they'll have a quarterback competition between Garrard, Sanchez, and McElroy. I mean, I think it's good that the Jets brought in a viable veteran with some presence in back of Sanchez to go along with McElroy. I think this really, you'll really see what Sanchez is made out of because, you know, if you follow the Jets closely, you know that part of Sanchez's problem was the fact that he never felt threatened that the person in back of him could get the job from him. You know, when Mark Brunel was his backup, you know, he wasn't threatened by him. He looked at Mark Brunel more like a, a mentor type, uh, a guy he knew could never start over him. So, you know, to have that natural pressure of competition, I think it's going to help Sanchez. I think this quarterback competition gets underway in earnest, you know, with the preseason workouts and then into training camp. And we'll see what Mark Sanchez is made of and see if, you know, Gerard or McElroy sort of step to the forefront. Um, I think because of the money Sanchez is owed, I think unless he comes into camp and falls flat on his face, I still think he starts the season as the Jets' starting quarterback. Remember, they owe him $8.75 million. They did take him with the fifth pick overall in the draft. They're going to give him every chance to succeed. But what I like what the Jets did here is once he falters now, they have two viable options. Are Garrard and McElroy great quarterbacks? No, they're not. But they're certainly serviceable and a lot better than the backups they've had in the past. I mean, uh, whether it was Tebow or Brunel, never really a serious threat in my mind to Sanchez as the starter. So uh, I think competition will be good for the Jets as a whole. Idzik said that at every position there's going to be competition. And, uh, you know, I think that in the long run that makes a good ball club. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, I'm probably a little more optimistic about this move than most people um, just because it's an upgrade over what they had. Uh, you're looking at the Jets probably being a 500 team at best next year anyway. But, um, you know, again, let me know what you guys think of this move. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter at S News Analysis. And guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, I upload anywhere between uh, three and five videos per day, probably even a little more during this NFL free agency period. So be sure to check that out. Thanks again for listening and have a great night.